Hey guys, it's Mog91 here, so we're back for more GTA 5, guys, and I was actually going to save us some time in the episode to uh, just drive over to the heist, or get close enough where it's like, okay, we got a little bit to go, but this happened. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not going to try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, <laughs> I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Yep. Now, I know, guys, we're hitting up the, the big Union Depository, which is what... This is where the game's really leading up to. So, before I do anything else, I'm actually gonna go through real quick. Stop at ammunition. Buy fucking body armor. Thank you, ammunition, for being right here. It's actually on the way too. Ammunition. You got a family and you got people to protect. I got money, so. Whoops. Okay. I am trying to make sure we have full ammo on everything, guys, before we go in. Just cause... And I think we're actually good. Or not. I wish there was a way to do this easier, but... Oh wow, I have no tear gas. This is gonna be one of those heists that it's like. Oh, don't have a nice stick or a knife. Now don't get too crazy. Okay, I am having everyone stop before I even go to the heist. Sorry to say, guys, we're gonna. For the first half of this episode, we are picking up ammo and whatnot. Because, for what I've seen and what I know about this, we're gonna need it. Hell, we're fucking robbing a giant ass bank. And I don't think we're gonna have battle suits like last time. Okay, Franklin. Whoops. Let's get outside. I don't give a fuck about the TV. Okay. Huh? Okay, real quick, where's the closest ammunition that'd be over here? Let's get ammo and whatnot for these guys. Sorry to say, it, it, for what we're doing, guys, it's better to be safe than sorry on maxing out your ammo and everything. And once that's all done, we're going in for the big heist. Trevor's up next. I know he's pretty much good on ammo, but at the same time, I want to make sure these guys have body armor, because I don't know what we're going to have to do to get ready, but I don't think it's going to be as easy as, oh, hey, let's just run in there and start blowing shit up. Because we're talking, I think it ends up being like 400 million dollars which is not pocket change hell a couple million pocket change you could live off a couple mil for a while if you're not uh, one of those smart asses that just goes out and buys everything unfortunately I already know I would buy a lot come in homie let's get you strapped I can tell we are gonna get along famously Old lady bought one of those yesterday. Oh, that baby's good for squirrels, birds, deer, mountain lions, and two-footed game. Know what? Stop all the killing and robbing in this place. Every one of the sheep out there owning a piece. OK. 
Okay. Why can Franklin only have like a tenth of what the other two can have? Is it just all right? New settings profile. Okay. I was going to see if we could stats. I wonder if it's because of his shooting. Yeah, that's going to be it. Well, that kind of sucks. So, Franklin, unfortunately, can't carry as much ammo and all that because of his... I believe once his shooting goes up, then you can carry a ton more ammo. It's all good, though. Hmm. I don't know where Trevor's at. I'm guessing he's at the... Uh, already at the strip club. He's passed out in front of the strip club. With a bottle in his hand. <laughs> mm, now, where the fuck is Wade? Okay. I know we got the heist. I believe there's a gun shop, like, right... Okay. Unfortunately, guys, it's not so worth taking a vehicle. He's still partially drunk. Hey, asshole, don't hit me. I'm gonna go ahead and steal this UPS, or host office. Host OP truck. It's supposed to be a UPS truck. No way it's looking around it. Like, without Trevor's running right now, it ain't it's worth stealing it. Even if I'm literally just going right up here. Yep. I should probably remind you it's paying customers. Put that on, you can give anybody shit and not worry about the repercussions. Uh, I'm, I've got an actual, the only thing I do need to buy is shotgun ammo. I apologize for the smell. Those tacos were a mistake. Now that'll take down a cruise line. Couldn't have picked better myself. Yep. You fucking not ride home. I love how the cardboard box just broke up into pieces. It's like really? Might have been a lot to do ask guys to go get that, but it's gonna be worth it in the long run. Just to say you've always been my heart. My heart is full because you're in it. Wait, okay, be good. New. What we had together is very special. I love you, but I'm a wife, and a wife must be with her husband. Aw, she's still contacting us. Kind of creepy. Nah. Okay. Let's get. Hey, boss, how you doing? I hear that. Yep. It's Illuminati shit. Once you start seeing it, you can't stop. Hey, yo, hey, Trevor, you wear girls are real hospitable. Well, no joke. You're, I'm the boss. And when I says goes. Okay. Hello. Let's do So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why, because I've squealed like a bitch so far? 
Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name. Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you! All right, excuse all right, all me! Right, enough! Huh? Enough! You're... Thank you! <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. We'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. Hmm. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough. And then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um... Her, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again, I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, uh, you've got to get some police stingers. Uh, only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right. Uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> That's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Uh. Let's do this subtle. Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. Okay. Well, he's had my back on every job since I got up and running again. He deserves a shot at he's the big one. one. Let's see, we got him, whatever, whatever. Maybe. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is going to be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tire. Driver for hire. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good. And she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I'm not going to pass her up. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. <sighs> Harris! <Yep. laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Yeah. Honestly, guys, the plan is we're going to go, get a ton of cash, and... Truthfully, I'm okay with doing bigger payouts to get the best of the best. Because this is going to be one hell of a score no matter what we do. So. Jesus Christ, he's milking it. I know. But it's worth it. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and accept it at the beginning of the next episode. And, yeah, guys. Okay, peace.